Hi, this is Danielle, the Domestic Scientist. In today's video, I'm bringing you a very classic blue and white tablescape. This tablescape is done as a part of the Salute the Red, White, and Blue Tablescape Collaboration. It's hosted by Fabulous Designs on a Budget, Shanji Living Life to the Fullest, and Elaborate Designs by Aisha. I put a link in the description box for each of the host channels and also a link to the collaboration playlist. Take a moment to check out these links. These ladies have done some really incredible work. So for my tablescape today, I wanted a look that was very timeless, that was somewhat formal but still very comfortable and casual. So to create the look that I wanted, I first chose to film in my dining room, partially because I have these beautiful blue and white paisley curtains and they pair very well with the blue and white tablescape. Next, I wanted to feature this harvest table from ART Home Furnishings. Typically when you see blue and white table decor, um, it has a very formal look because many people pair it with a crisp white tablecloth. I chose not to use the tablecloth for a couple reasons. Number one, it's very hard to find a tablecloth that's for a 120 inch table, so that can be a bit of a challenge. But also because the tablecloth adds a more elegant, refined look, and because I wanted something slightly more casual, I went in the opposite direction. And I love the finish on this table and it has a very earthy element which makes it feel very cozy. I use the burlap charger plate in this place setting because it pairs very well with the table. For a bit of fun and texture I did use the blue and white napkins from Dillard's along with the blue and white candle from Hobby Lobby. I think that the two place settings on the end deserve their own little centerpiece so that it adds more balance. And I think that's a good idea because the table is so large. So my centerpiece is just a trio of blue and white ceramics. I wanted to make sure I maintained symmetry on it and all three of those pieces are from Home Goods. So this is the centerpiece that I prefer. Originally I had put two white hydrangea stems from Tuesday morning in the temple jar in the middle. However, it didn't give me the fullness that I wanted and when I tried to go back to Tuesday morning, they were completely out. So I might do this again where I do use flowers in the center, but that's something that I'm working on. In the meantime, I do like it just the way it is because I love the dome top to the temple jar. So I think it still works. So because I have a little bit more space to work with on this table, I opted to add a salad fork to my place settings and also I used both a water glass and a wine glass and both of those came from Dollar Tree. I am always looking and admiring blue and white tablescapes on Pinterest and on YouTube and what I notice is that a lot of people will use that center of the table and will pair maybe like 10 different jars and they'll have all different shapes and sizes. It creates a very full and very luxurious look. However, I tried it and it didn't work out as well for me. What I learned is that all blue and white ceramics don't necessarily pair well together. So while I do have a couple more, one of them has a hint of green, the other one has a gold trim, it really didn't look right together. So that's something that I want to work on in the future about how to best pair multiple patterns that still gives a good cohesive look without looking cluttered. So what I love about the look that I've created here is this very versatile, it's very foundational, and it's very timeless. And what I mean by that is I could leave this as the base piece for my table. I could be perfectly happy with the way it is right now. And in fact, I am very happy with it and I'll probably leave it this way. But if I want the look that I keep seeing on Pinterest, I can add more blue and white ceramics as long as I figure out how to pair them right. I have the space to do that and I have a couple pieces that would already work. So I could do that if I wanted in the future. The other thing is because it's blue and white, you can see this in a home that's full of antiques. You could see this in a home that was just built. You really don't get a feel that it's from a particular decade. So I never have to worry about waking up one day and feeling like my house looks absolutely dated. 
In fact, because it's so versatile, I can pair it with other elements by adding pops of color through florals, through extra napkins, through changing out charger plates. The blue is such a nice color and there's so much that I can just do with it in the future. So I absolutely love that about it. So every time I'm at a consignment store or a thrift store, I always check to see if they have any blue and white pattern china that could pair well with this table for the right price. And so far I just haven't seen anything, but I'm sure I will eventually. So I want to take a moment to thank our host, Aisha, Marilyn, and Shanji for extending us the opportunity to create a tablescape for you. Also, their channels are linked in the description box below, as well as all the other ladies who decided to make a tablescape. Now, I'd like to hear from you. Let me know in the comments box what you think about my blue and white tablescape. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.